This is IKMC International Kangaroo Mathematics Contest and we are solving questions for, from the past paper 2022 for pre class 1 and 2. Question number 23 is Kengi eats only apples on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. On Tuesdays and Thursday he eats only mangoes. He eats either two apples or three mangoes a day. On Saturdays and Sundays he eats nothing. How many pieces of fruit does Kengi eat in two weeks? So what we are going to find is the total number of fruits Kengi eat in two weeks. Our options are available below. Option A is 12, B is 16, C is 18, D is 20 and the last option E is 24. Now we are going to uh, interpret our question through visualization statement by statement. But first of all, what we are going to write here the days of a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. And let's start from the first statement Kengi eats only apples on Monday, Wednesday and then Friday. On Tuesdays and Thursday he eats only mangoes. So till here this is the representation. He eats either two apples or three mangoes a day. It means two apples and three mangoes a day. On Saturdays and Sunday, he eats nothing. It means I put a crossover a Saturday and Sunday section. How many pieces of fruit does Kingy eat in two weeks? This is a chart for a one week. And if we are going to count the total number of the fruits he has eaten, then we all together have to do what? Addition. Let's add all of the fruits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. This is actually the total number of fruits he has eaten in a week. But we need the answer for two weeks. So the same pattern is followed for two weeks. 12 plus 12 is what? 24. So altogether she has e he has eaten 24 fruits. The answer is E. Option number E, 24. Let's move to the other question and the other question 24 is I'm going to read it. The picture shows two cocks each with a black tooth. Where will the black, to black teeth end up after the small cock has made one full turn? So the small cock or we can say the cock uh, instead of gear. We can say the cock uh, like the other name of cog is gear or we can even see this uh, gears in our cars or automobiles. Here there are two cogs on the top right corner. There is a pink one, the small one and the big one, the blue. And the black tooth are can be easily shown on both of the gears. Now what we are going to find is uh, we have to, the question is saying that the pink cog have to give full rotation but how many turns does the blue cock rotates because the because of the one rotation of the pink cock as the blue gear is big so it is not fully rotated just few of the few of its teeth so the options are given below but uh, so for solving this question there are two tricks for gear don't uh, uh, like uh, misguided uh, through these kind of things like uh, i am saying gear because gear is an other name for the cock tricks of gears what is the trick of gear you can see the two gears the one the b gear is the um, smaller one and the a cog is what the bigger one when you rotate the D, A1 is also uh, rotated or you can even say that both can be, these uh, driver and driven can be exchanged. But most important, what is the trick of the gear? First of all, read two gears always have opposite directions. Now look at the directions right now. A gear is in anti-clock and B gear is in exactly the clock moves on the right side. But the a gear is on the left side. It means the, their rotation will be opposite. Look at that. A and B opposite direction. B is in the clockwise and A is in the anti-clockwise. This is the first trick. So what is the second trick? 
I have taken this picture from the question the pink and the blue gear one complete rotation of a small gear small gear is the pink one look one complete rotation of a small gear is equal to total teeth of small gear how many teeth are in small gear let us count one two three four five six seven eight total teeth on the small pink gear is eight so when the pink gear will rotate or turn for one rotation then eight teeth eight of its teeth will rotate now but which is this statement is, is equal to count eight teeth on pink gear starts after black teeth but in the opposite direction it means we have to change the direction the pink gear is rotating in the clockwise direction and then the blue gear will rotate in the opposite direction and start counting after the black because we here in the uh, in the blue gear we are not counting the total number of teeth but we are counting the how many teeth teeth have turned because of the pink small gear let us calculate where the black teeth of the blue gear will rotate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the total number of teeth on the small gear we have already counted and the black, te black tooth of the big gear will rotate towards the eighth number. This is where the black gear, this is where the black teeth of big gear moves. I hope that you have understood this situation. The two gears will always rotate in the opposite directions. The, then this is the first point. And the second point is that calculate the total number of teeth in the small gear. One full, one full rotation of the small gear is equal to total number of the rotations after the black teeth. You have to count it. And then this is the point, the eighth point. Is exactly the point where the black teeth rotated now move back uh, coming back to the options uh, option number a we cannot select it because there is no rotation of the black teeth of the blue gear option number B only one two three four only four teeth it's wrong option number C is the correct because of the eight teeth because the blue gear has rotated eight teeth and option number d only two teeth and option number a rotation is too long or too long which is uh, incorrect here answer c is the correct option if you find any ambiguity in this question then you can comments in the comment section thanks